Hey guys, it's Big here on the Gaming Geek. I have recently gotten a shitload of VHS tapes, and uh, I've been starting watching them. I set up my old VCR, and I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna give you reviews of some movies that I want, and other ones I'm gonna sell. Let's start with the first movie I saw in the VHS, the Blair Witch, the Blair Witch Project. Uh, stupid lighting. Um, if I haven't seen Cloverfield first, I would have liked it, because this is just, I don't know why people say it's so scary. It's not. I was tired, and it was boring. But it was 87 minutes long, so I, I was like, whatever. Uh, you know, um, it's these people who go, are trying to make a documentary on the Blair Witch. They get lost, after that they get lost in the woods, and... They think it could be somebody messing with them, or it might be their Blair Witch. Who knows? So, and this, this just gave birth to the shaky cam thing, and it's okay. Uh, it's not really extraordinary or anything good. It's just okay. Now, a lot of you fans might say, "Yeah, what? Like, no way! It's like one of the greatest horror movies." Of all time, I do not agree at all. I don't. I didn't. I wasn't scared at all. In fact, I was yawning most of the time. If the well, and you know what? Spoiler. Whoever seen it? Uh, spoiler. So if you for th ten seconds don't listen to this, they never showed what. Um, they never showed what the Blair Witch is, but. Yeah, maybe they give some indication you just pause the video or something But less is more, but I need to see something to actually be scared of if I don't see anything I am not gonna be scared. I need to at least see a little bit less is more But still even I'll go by that rule if you could show me what the thing looks like I Because at least Cloverfield at the end showed you what the monster was and it was really cool but yeah, my review for the Blair Witch, average, just average, and not, and uh, it's not as good as a movie as people say. For me, I I really don't like it at all. So yeah, that's my review. I give it two and a half stars. This is Aaron the Gaming Geek signing off.